Rose Gimba is clearing her Irish potato farm of weeds in the Bukuru community of Jos. She wishes she could cultivate more, but she's scared to leave Jos for rural areas which are now too unsafe. There are places where farmers dare not go close to the farmlands. Communities in places like Bokos, you dare not go to farms alone, even when you go in groups. Sometimes you get attacked. If you notice, urban settlements are getting filled up because a lot of people from rural communities are migrating for safety. According to the Association of Nigerian Farmers, about 130 farmers were killed by gunmen in four local government areas of Benue State in March this year. In December, over 100 people, mostly farmers, were killed in a Christmas Eve attack in Plateau, which are all states within Nigeria's Middle Belt region. Honolis points to the agrarian nature of the landscape, which is suitable for animal grazing and crop cultivation, leading to a contest for land as a major reason behind the situation. It's actually a place where it's accommodative for both crop farmers and for herders. And it starts with the, class, the, uh, the clash between headers and farmers. And we have a lot of people that are dis disguising themselves as either headers or either farmers to perpetrate their evils. We've had situations where farmers have to pay bandits to go to their farms. And if they don't, they, they are, they are, they, 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 the, the bandits come after them. Many farmers have now fled from their communities to safer places, which has led to reduced food production. Millions of Nigerians are now finding it hard to cope and cannot feed their families due to food inflation. Agriculture experts are advocating improved security of lives and property for farmers and ranching for herders. If the farmers are unable to farm, it means that everybody is dying of, of hunger as well. So it's actually something that the government should really look into and be able to give farmers a succor that they will be able to do what they have they, they are meant for without without being afraid of anything happening to them. The government says it has trained and graduated over 10,000 security personnel called agro rangers to defend farmers against attacks, a number critics say is not enough. Members of parliament are also seeking to ban open grazing and establish ranches for herders with a bill which has now passed second reading. Rouse Gimba is optimistic that these measures will yield results and lead to increased food production by farmers.